Near Orofino, Idaho, on the banks of the Clearwater River, lives 76-year-old John Gillum, an old-time humble cowboy turned sculptor. Well, when I first moved here, I was in the roofing business. I did roofing. Arizona, I fence contractor. And uh, I would have stayed with the cowboy, but I was too crippled up. I haven't had not even five minutes of art training. It's just something that I really enjoy doing. These are just extra tools. Like I say, my fingers and the hands, 90% of it's done with my hands. And those hands have done some awesome work. From rosary figurines to larger than life size pieces, artist John creates beautiful bronze sculptures. Well, as far as recent larger or larger than life size, the, the Veterans Memorial in Lewiston, and then I guess you could say Mother Teresa, the life size of Mother Teresa, and then the logger in Orfino, I think he was, I think he was put up in around 94, somewhere in then. His Mother Teresa creation stands for viewing across the country. But the first one went to Loyola University. And then the second one, I believe, went to the cathedral in Boise, St. John's. And then another one they called for went to Scottsdale. And now this present one is supposed to go to Rome. It was scheduled to be there on the 5th of September when she's get sainthood, but I kind of doubt if it's going to make it by now. Since our interview, John received word the sculpture ended up at St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York City. Western art is Gillum's first love. Currently in studio, a bigger-than-life cowboy. How long does it take to finish it? Oh, anywhere from three months to 20 years. If I could sell him where he sits on the sidewalk in Scottsdale, I should get at least 75000 Now. I know other artists, if they did the same piece, the same cost, everything that I do, they could get 150000 for the same piece because their name is somebody else. I'd like to see it in a, a cowboy atmosphere, uh, maybe at a, at some feed yards or something. That don't seem very appropriate, but I'd like to see it where real cowboys can see it, not just dudes on the street in Scottsdale because that's very important to me to get it right. If a good cowboy looked at that and said, now there's a piece out, that makes me feel good. Fame and fortune, not important. Just getting it right defines artist John Gillum. Do you know you're famous? No, I don't know that. I don't think I am. Not for this, anyway. <laughs> With the Idaho Farm Bureau, the voice of Idaho agriculture, I'm Steve Ritter.